Oh, yeah, I think it's from uh, my bedroom actually. Okay. Okay, let's speed up five minutes. Okay. Um, so first, um, at the fourth Harry Potter film, what makes it still special for you to play in those films? Um, yeah, this one was really good. Um, the Goblet of Fire was another one of my favourite books in it, and uh, it's just I think it's good that they've all sort of um, all the characters are sort of grown up now, and they're sort of all teenagers, and it's the uh, sort of the whole um, the Yule Ball scene, and uh, they have to get partners for the the uh, the, uh, the dance. Yeah, and that, that was quite. Quite fun to do, yeah. Mm -hmm. Was that your favourite scene? What, what about what you did, or was there another funny thing or a difficult thing for you to do? Um, yeah, the uh, the Yule Ball scene was actually quite easy for me in the end because uh, everyone else they had to have all these uh, sort of dance lessons, and uh, I didn't have to do them in the end, so that was quite good. Mm -hmm. And you had a nice dress on. Oh yeah, oh, it's right. beautiful. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very sexy. Oh yeah. <laughs> so what was uh, what? Uh, Thinking after afterwards, what was the most the thing you learned from this film? You learned doing, or you learned learned about? Um, they, uh, the sort of um, all the underwater sequences. We had they 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 gave us some sort of diving training, and they sort of sort of gear you up in all this sort of scuba gear, and uh, they they sort of um, sort of teach you a load of things about that. And that, that was that was quite good because I'd never done anything like that before. And that was a whole new sort of experience, but and that was quite a good thing. The diving was for the scene where uh, he has to rescue you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So what what did you do? You just I didn't water? do <laughs> I didn't do much in the end, um, but there was a bit of sort of coming up from the water, but um, it was still it was still quite good. Mm -hmm. and then then this uh, is the first film with the romantic parts in it. Was that complicated to play for you? Um, or are you a romantic guy and it's not? Um, no, not really. <laughs> um, no, I think it's just sort of showing how they're sort of growing up now and uh, sort of more sort of teenage sort of um, mm. sort of behaviour, I guess. And uh, now Ron finds it really sort of hard to sort of get a partner, and uh, that's quite fun to do actually. Mm. So is it that you grow up and at the same time you know how to act them because you grow up and they grow up, and it's like a similar? Oh. Yeah, I mean we've sort of all sort of grown up together, really, the characters and us. Um, I'm, I think I'm a little bit older than Ron. Because I'm 17 now, and uh, I think he's supposed to be 14 or something. But um, no, yeah, it's, it's weird looking back on the first film as well, seeing like how much sort of smaller we were. That was that's quite weird doing that. Mm, is it fun for you to see the, the old films now and say, hey, I um, was a kid by then? It, no, it is quite quite strange. Yeah, I think it's going to be sort of weirder in the future as well. Um, I'm sort of a, a lot older. It's going to be weird looking back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are your plans when you when you finish school and when you uh, finish the Harry Potter's? Uh, is it uh, do you want to study or something, or do you want to keep keep on being an actor? Um, yeah, well, I've, I've, I've finished school now already. Um, I finished uh, last year, and uh, I'm quite glad that's like, all over now. And uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think I want to continue doing acting when I'm sort of older because uh, it's a really good sort of job, and I'm having a really good time doing these films. So yeah. How do you do, how do you deal with all the female fans? Uh, really looking forward to the premiere to come to see you, and uh, they are on your poster, having your posters in their room. And how do you feel about all this attention? Um, I don't know. It's, it's quite um, just sort of getting recognised. That's the weirdest thing. Sort of like when you go out and they uh, sort of uh, sort of with my hair at the moment, I sort of stand out a bit. So anyway, so uh, uh, that is quite sort of hard to get your, sort of get your head around, really. But um, no, it's, it's all right. Is it still then when you work on the street that people see you and you have to hide to just that? Or how are you dealing with that? Um, no, none of it really gets to that uh, that bad. I have to hide. It's usually just they're always sort of nice about the film and that, so it's never really been a real sort of issue. Mm -hmm. What uh, did did you already start the fifth part? And what will be the most demanding thing on that for you? What you prepare for? That? Um, I don't know the fifth. I'm looking for, quite looking forward to the fifth one because uh, Ron gets to play Quidditch this time and. Uh, I think that'd be quite a good, quite a fun thing to do. Yeah, I look forward to that. Okay, thank you very much. Cool. Have a nice time. Nice one, cheers, <laughs> thanks.